trying to get this hand lined up at the neck of the violin. Um, there's a few things I'm looking for. One, I want to make sure Fred is facing their face so they can get their fourth finger to the string. Two, I want to make sure the thumb is not squished up against the neck, but it's sideways like that. That's also mm -hmm. helping the four. I call that Sally, and I want her not squished her face. So we got Fred and Sally facing us. And then um, the third thing is I'm looking for a little mouse hole between the neck of the violin and the thumb. So I can fit a tiny, um, skinny little pencil or pen through. All right, so the violin does not rest right here. And then the fourth thing I'm doing, I'm holding her fingers like umbrellas over the strings so that there's weight in the fingers. A lot of kids will squeeze to push the string down enough to make a good tone. And I would rather avoid that by teaching them this hanging arm weight. So she's giving me all of the weight of her arm, which means it's going to transfer into the fingers and make a very natural, uh, beautiful tone.